off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we... Friends, how are you doing this morning? I've already started to do my hair, which I don't do midweek ever. <laughs> So why am I doing it today, you might ask? It's because Ashley has her cheer banquet tonight and I am going to that. I decided not to buy a ticket for Jason. It was 30 bucks a ticket. And I was like, are you gonna rush home from work? Are you gonna fight traffic? Are you gonna worry about not getting here? Worry about wasting the $30 if you don't get there in time? And he was like, all those scenarios are likely to happen. <laughs> So we asked Ashley if it was okay that he didn't go and it's a good thing because he has a lot to do at the store. So he's not coming with me, which is fine. It's a very simple banquet to end their year off. And um, anyways, I'm going to go to that tonight, but I do need to run to Target today and I might try running up to Marshall's. So their theme for this banquet tonight is um, Hollywood glam and Ashley doesn't like to dress up like she doesn't like to wear dresses anymore. She does wear one skirt for church that we've agreed on. Um, it got a little cold so that's why we found some of those new pants and a new sweater for her to wear to church which she's also going to wear to this cheer banquet. But we have been looking for some kind of a sparkly tank top or t-shirt to wear underneath it. it the problem is she just doesn't like any of that stuff and so i don't want to waste the money on it just for a two-hour event you know what i mean there's no one to hand it down to so i'm going to just go see if i can find a very simple tank top or something that we can buy for her and then i bought a black dress i don't know if i show that to you i bought one at Target with one of the gift cards that one of you gave me. Thank you very much. Um, um, it didn't cover all of it, but it just gave me a good discount on a clearance dress. So, I mine's not fancy. It is just a black dress, and it's not like a tight black dress. It's not something formal at all. It's definitely a church dress. <laughs> but it's what I got, and it's what I care to have and spend my money on, so I'm just going to make it do. Um, but I might try and see if there's like a, it's a short sleeve dress. So I might try and see if there's a nice little long sleeve cardigan, like long dress, long cardigan. You know what I'm calling, what is that duster cardigan? Just a long one. I don't have much hope for that, but, um, so that's what my plans are for today. I also have another event tomorrow night for church. With just the women so i thought you know what let's just do my hair it'll be done for two days it'll survive but i do have a question for you guys and maybe i should just go ahead and ask patty because she actually owns a hair salon <laughs> i washed my hair last night straightening my hair this morning um i'm already seeing in the camera i need to like kind of straighten that out i can already kind of see the waves in it so I'm straightening my hair right now. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and tomorrow I want my hair straight again to go to this um, other event tomorrow night. But when I did the exact same scenario for church, washed it Saturday, straightened it Sunday morning, went to church, took a nap, ate lunch, had dinner, like did nothing. I didn't go out into the elements. I did nothing. I woke up yesterday morning thinking I was gonna have this cute straight hair it was all oily all my whole cap my head cap was just so oily and like clear down like it was so bad and I'm like what did I do what am I doing wrong and yes I use cheap shampoo um, and I try not to put any conditioner up in my scalp so I need ideas and I can't spend a ton of money on Hair products but if there's something like pretty basic that I could use because I'm clearly not getting out all the oils when I wash my hair I triple wash it like I shampoo two or three times when I wash my hair 
help a girl out because I would love to have my hair last longer when I do do it, but it just doesn't. So it doesn't make it worth the time and effort it takes to do it when it only lasts barely 24 hours. It's just not worth it to me. And dry shampoo is not a good look on my head. It's just not. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we'll start my day with you guys and myself because I haven't even done anything else. <laughs> To be fair, I did go downstairs and I straightened up all the normal things that I normally straighten up so that I can tell each kid as they come home, I need you to load your dishes, I need you to unload, I need you to sweep the floors, that kind of thing. That's all I've done. So, okay. All done. Pretty good. So, I'm actually going to go down and get something to eat and... Um, See what I, I think I need to move the laundry. And other than that, oh, I need, I need to work on some videos. You can't even see me. I need to work on a few videos, or one video, finish it up. And then I think we will go to Target and Marshalls. All right, I just finished the um, video that I was editing, finishing it up, and paying for more cheer things. <laughs> There's so, it's so expensive. You guys learn a lesson and not sell your children up for cheerleading. But from what I've heard, so is every other sport, every other, you know, team that kids join. It's just expensive. But anyway, I just remembered um, I was going through my purse and I had these instructions from School King. Um, these are our makeshift kind of clue or uh, instruction hints at what each card is that we usually end up looking at at our game nights with our friends <laughs> and we're trying to add one more set of rules like you can make the game harder and harder and harder and I think we're at that point where we're adding um, the, all the different characteristics of each pirate if you've ever played the game but not only is it difficult for a lot of us to like keep track of all the rules and rankings and who wins over this, but then there's a, an exception. But we have one player who, despite her confusion every single game, she wins so often despite her confusion. It is hilarious. She's like, hypothetically, if I were to play the mermaid given this scenario, what would happen? And we're like, you would win. You would win the game. So go ahead, play it. She's like, okay. So she'll play it and she wins the game. And it happens all the time, or at least wins the hand. It happens all the time. It's hilarious because she's the most frazzled by not understanding the rules and all the different scenarios. And yet it, it makes her win every single time. Regardless, I am going to take some time, um, maybe not this afternoon, but this week, I'm gonna make these little cheat sheets. Cause it's always very obvious when someone wants that little blue piece of paper or the rule book, um, <laughs> that you might have a specialty card. And so I'm going to make little cheat sheets for every single one of us and then laminate them and we'll just put them with the instructions and we'll hand those all out at the beginning of the game so that it's not obvious if you're looking at the card um, to try and find out if you, how to use your, anyway. So I'm gonna spend some time to work on that. I might even put some little cute little logos or whatever. Um, we also thought about having a pin for the um, loser with the lowest points because I had negative 180 points last game. I was so in the hole the whole time. I would catch up to like zero and then I would go back into the hole. It was awful. And so wonderful, wonderful Kevin, our dear host, he, we were the more, most competitive, but he was like, I think Dana needs to be the plankton. <laughs> I think she needs to have a plankton pin, like, you know, from SpongeBob, the little plankton guy. So then we started looking at plankton pins and we couldn't find one that really like, fit the mold, but then we, you know, cause then it would be embarrassing, embarrassing, like wearing the plankton pin, <laughs> like having people ask you why you're wearing something like that. Anyway, Jason did win at the game, um, last Saturday night. So he wore his Kraken pin to church, um, which he wore that loud and proud. He had a good time wearing that as his tie tack. So I think I'm going to head out into the rain. Um, despite us looking out at this, at the couches out there, 
almost every other day. We gotta go bring those in. We never remember to. So one of these days when it's not raining, or even when it is, we should just bring them in, dry the pillows off on the by the fireplace, and then tuck them all away here in the garage. But we just keep forgetting to. Here's a little tidbit of information for you. If you're in line at the dollar store, no one's behind you in the line. You have only one person ahead of you in the line. And you have a hundred items. You have a hundred items in your cart. I know because I heard the total. And the person behind you is getting one poster board. Let them go ahead of you. Beep. 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 Oh, I don't know how much this is. It's a dollar twenty-five. Just ring it in as miscellaneous. <sighs> I have a lot of patience for the dollar store because I get it. It's the dollar store. But heaven help me. <laughs> I just wanted to get a poster board because I happened to be down here to get my debit card, my credit card back from Abby because she took it to go get gas yesterday and forgot to give it to me. So I thought, well, make it worth the trip near a dollar store because I need the poster board. Now I don't have to come back down here for any other reason, except for tonight for the banquet. But you know, I digress. I didn't want to come in my dress. So now off to Target. There's a reason why we enjoy, enjoy Target so much because it's <laughs> just, it's not. I let people go ahead of me all the time. Dollar store or a lot of stores. Um, especially when you only have when you have only one item. Like if someone only had one, or it's like an old lady, let them go. Like this poor old man was waiting for his wife. Just let her go ahead of you. Like there's, she was like holding herself up on the counter. Could barely stand up. Turned like hunched over. Let her go ahead of you. It's going to be okay. Like, I don't know. You're a little crooked because I have you kind of balanced in a weird way. Um, I didn't get anything super fancy at Target, but I'll show you what I got regardless. Um, so I got my Lamisil, and I just got the generic. Um, they didn't have the one that had the actual ingredient that Lamisil had in it, but their Athletics foot cream. Um, and yes, this is a fungal cream. I get that. I don't have a fungal infection, but I think this is the itching cream I think this is mainly for and I could use like a hydrocortisone um, and do the same thing um, so regardless then I got this cute little Vaseline uh, this is the Vaseline or the lip gloss of choice for Ashley um, and she has a big container of it in her bathroom um, and she's had other chapsticks in the past but she has a giant cold sore on her lip um, and can we guess that might be from our last holiday and maybe maybe just maybe her headache her migraine was maybe from our last holiday a week ago um, and all the repercussions of said holiday and our eating habits that's all I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say I let her have her privacy while she was having all that last night but she wanted something to take to school with her to help with her cold sore um, she was fine by the way this morning got up just fine why is that guy oh they're opening their car so I did get my Epsom salt um, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag and then we needed lotion so both me and Abby have big lotions like that in our bedrooms so she has stolen mine so I'm replacing hers <laughs> um, and then also for our glam night I don't feel like going up to Marshall's it's pouring rain and I keep having to like put my hoodie on, use the umbrella, have my hair like fling out with the wind and get wet. I'm over it. Um, so this is what we got. I'm actually, I've wanted one of these to like use. When I have my hair um, straight, it would be nice to like take a little piece and like pin it back and then have a cute little bow. It's kind of trendy, I guess. Um, and just be able to like wear this with my new black dress um, tonight. I'm, I'm already like getting annoyed with my hair being down and in my face <laughs> so I might just use this as part of my look I guess you could say and then there's these cute little um, glamorous clips 
actually they're just little, um, they're not clips, they're just pins. Uh, maybe I can get Ashley to let me put her hair up into like a ponytail or a half up or, or something, or just, if anything, just taking her hair and like clipping it back and putting these little glamour clips into her hair for our party. All right, back at home. I'm gonna have my little signs for our church Christmas party here. And I have my poster board, which is what I went to the dollar store for. I'm just <laughs> I hate sneezes that don't sneeze. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I know I probably could have gotten this printed on home board from Walgreens, but I wasn't really thinking about it when I put the order in. And I went to display it at church yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, and it wouldn't stand up on the easel. We are going to glue this old fashioned style to a poster board times two. Got my glue stick and I feel like I'm doing a science project. <laughs> so we're gonna cut these out really quick. Um, I've been gathering all my Christmas decorations and I think I just have to find the, the plates. I'm kind of hoping in the next, I've seen some of the Christmas plates that Costco has online. Like I've seen people like showing them on Costco haul TikTok videos and stuff for the holidays. Just for whatever reason, our Costco hasn't put out holiday plates that I have seen. Even though our Costco is corporate Costco. If you didn't know that. Costco headquarters is here where I live. In fact, a lot of my friends work at corporate. <laughs> so we're going to cut this out. These are not the best scissors and I want them a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut this out really quick and then we're going to glue it together. Fast forward to getting ready for our banquet tonight. It hasn't been easy. But Ashley looks amazing. Right Ash? You look amazing. You want to Get me to fluff out your curls real quick. Okay. Okay, we're still having issues. And I'm trying to stay calm and collected because we have to leave in five minutes. It's not easy to deal with anxiety with a 10 year old. Heaven help us, we can find the new clips I bought because it solved all the other problems. And I don't care what my kitchen looks like. I don't care that there's no dinner plans for anyone else. <laughs> we found the clips with one minute to spare. What? She's got cute curls. We're gonna put these in. You I'm look cute. I'm gonna be wearing Crocs at the end of the night. I know, she's wearing Chelsea's boots. Take your pants out of the boot though. We did not find boots in time. No. But that's okay, we'll keep looking. So we have these cute clips on this side. we're returning tomorrow. Yes, we have to return them because one of them has a bead that came loose. Kind of fluff out your your shirt here. Get it to pull forward just a bit. Okay, let's go. I am learning as a parent, I can talk a little bit more freely I'm, without going into any details, but I'm learning as a parent with a child with anxiety. New events, new moments, things that are changing, clothes that are different, things that are lost, <laughs> these things spike anxiety Hard, hardcore so we're learning how to deal with that but she looks great right uh, my umbrella is right there but I don't think it's raining can you just move that so you're not stepping on it did you find a bag or no no but I'm probably just gonna keep the shoes in the car and then when I okay okay and the glasses, I'll just bring it. all right all right we're ready to go yeah you look cute There is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there Hey, 
had a good night? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't film any of it. One, because there's so many girls and I don't have permission to film everyone. And two, they were just all over. They had a DJ there, which we knew one of the boys that was one of the DJs. Yeah. And uh, they, after they did awards and MVPs, kind of just said goodbye it. to the eighth graders that move on to the high school. Um, they opened it up to just music and food and Taylor Swift concert, basically. Yeah. So and this is what they got at their table. So she collected all the I extras. Can't see <laughs> I can't, I can't see. You can't see a thing? Do you have a good night? Yeah. Tired? Yeah. Sweaty? Yeah. I know. I, I feel like you need to wash your hair, but it'd be nice to have it curly tomorrow. Okay. I think we're going to call it a night with you guys. Yeah. Right? I can't. She does not have school for the next three days. We have teacher conferences two days in a row. Hers is tomorrow, middle of the day. And then it's Veterans Day on Friday. So she's home for like a five day weekend. Just her. The other kids will be out of school on Friday, but she's the only one who doesn't have school yeah. um, for the next two days. Really so lucky. we are gonna find out this when- This dad looks. But he's like on his phone. When we can plan play dates. <laughs> and it's not how dad is when he's on his yes. phone. Um, we're gonna plan some play dates and maybe go to like a kid zone. Um, we arcade. didn't tell you about that. See what else we get up to this week. So stay tuned and um, we'll talk to you next time.